This demo guide provides the steps, sample app and services for exploring several edge compute use cases, which are enabled by a five distributed cloud platform. App Stack, Customer Edge or CE, Regional Edge or RE, and connecting it all with multi-cloud networking, MCN. Our sample app, ByTime Retail, is representative of a distributed architecture that uses a five distributed cloud. In our case, we're delivering an e-commerce app to online users, as well as a kiosk app across all of the ByTime's retail locations to their in-store branch customers. With XC, the first two steps that we look at are as simple as one, deploying the infrastructure for the app services, and then two, delivering them to where their users are, whether in-store or online. Here we took a WordPress WooCommerce app with a MySQL database, which simulates a traditional three-tier application and turned it into an online e-commerce application. It serves as a core app for online retail and an inventory tracking in this case, and it runs in Customer Edge, CE. A version of the same app is also going to be a kiosk app and deployed in different retail branch locations running on app stack. The same stack is deployed in each of the branches in the customer environment, if there's more than one. Then load balancers, which serve as distributed proxies, are set up to connect between the various app services, specifically TCP load balancer between the branch uh, to the core app in order to sync inventory data, and the rest of the services use HTTP load balancers to deliver app services on both the kiosk within the branch and to the online shoppers. So let's take a look at this in action from the distributed cloud console. This is where ByteTime has configured multi-cloud networking between all of the sites that they need for their distributed apps. We see the Customer Edge AWS site, which hosts the core application uh, like inventory management and uh, as well as their online.com app. We can also see the branch deployment that uses a five distributed cloud app stack to simplify rolling out their retail branch app services consistently. The ByteTime services deployments are all separated using namespaces. So first, all of the core applications were deployed in the ByteTime online namespace. Uh, to do this, uh, ByteTime first created a concept of a virtual site, which enables them to deploy these apps easily across multiple sites. It could be multiple geographic locations or even multiple cloud providers. Here's a virtual site created for the core retail app, and it spans multiple sites and provides centralized inventory management and the online.com application for buy time. The other virtual site supports app stack deployments for each of the retail branches. Lastly, the regional edge or RE sites supports latency sensitive parts of the online apps and are running in the F5 global backbone in regions that are closest to end users. And we'll talk about that more in a minute. What enables consistency of deployment across all of these uh, is Kubernetes. So specifically virtual Kubernetes or VK8 is used for all of the core application services. WordPress, uh, it's MySQL based inventory management and the online services on the ByTime CE site. The retail branch app similarly uses managed Kubernetes deployed on the app stack site in a different namespace. But fundamentally it is all Kubernetes, it's rolled out the same way. And once these apps are deployed on different sites, now we can deliver these applications to both the online and the branch customers. So to do that, let's first take a look under the branch namespace. We can see the kiosk internal application and the recommendation service. The latter provides in-store shopper recommendations to customers in the branch and runs something like TensorFlow. So looking at the kiosk internal app and going into managed configuration, we see that the origin pool is pointing to the branch location. We are using Kubernetes service discovery and we see here the origin server and the kiosk service. It's based on WordPress and it's deployed within the branch and is running on this app stack site. And we're then advertising the service to the customers within the branch using custom VIP advertisement to the app stack branch A. Now the application kiosk is accessible for users within the branches you can see here in action. And note that as more branches get rolled out, this site can then be changed to virtual site and just with a single click, the same load balancer can then be delivered to multiple sites, including any new buy time branches as they come online. Okay, so now that we've seen how applications were delivered within the branch, we can take a look at buy time online and how they delivered their e-commerce application to their uh, internet users. The architecture involves the core application having all of its services delivered to the internet using the F5 uh, global backbone. 
This is where the deal service, which is kind of like the Amazon Lightning deals, was deployed right on this global backbone uh, using regional edge RE virtual sites. And all of the applications were obviously delivered and operating from the central console. We can take a look at this now. So inside the ByTime Online Store deployment on the uh, VK8, we can see that it's been deployed on the ByTime CE side, which is customer edge. And it's this is our core application. We can also see the deal service, which has been deployed on the RE sites. And if we go and look at the actual pods and search for deals, uh, we can see that the three pods are running and we can see that each one of them is running in a different region. One is in Seattle, the other one in Singapore and Stockholm. Now going back to App Connect, we will see how the ByTime e-commerce application was delivered. Notice here we have two services, one for the deals and one for online store. So the online store is the main application. And again, we can see this same consistent configuration for this app, similar to what we saw in the branch. The uh, origin pool belongs to the VK8 service, the online store service, and then points to the ByTime CE virtual site. So now the service is delivered to the internet by simply selecting the advertised location as internet. To complete the process, we just need to delegate the domain to F5, and we uh, minted a certificate, and literally that is all that it takes. So finally, the Lightning Deal service runs on Regional Edge site, and it also has the same consistent configuration, with the only difference being the origin pool, uh, which uh, would point to the Kubernetes service running in uh, on the virtual site comprised of the RE locations. So those are the uh, collection of few points of presence on the F5 global backbone, and they're really optimized for deployment of latency sensitive workloads. And this entire deployment of the online e-commerce app can be seen here. Notice the deals component uh, right here, which runs from the closest location to the end user. This is important for time sensitive applications. So in summary, you can see how F5 distributed cloud provides a consistent approach to deploying and delivering application infrastructure for uh, resulting our architecture being distributed for our sample app by time, it supports the same exact Kubernetes-based services on-prem, in the customer edge, on public cloud, in our case AWS, uh, and also regional edge, which is on the global backbone as we described. So it uses the same powerful yet simple multi-cloud networking from layer, th layer 3 and 4 to layer 7 load balancers, to connect the different services. And also we can add web application and API protection WAP to protect all of our infrastructure, all from the same central console. So you can try this same exact sample application uh, by just following the steps in the demo guide, or you can choose to run the included Terraform scripts, which essentially automate much of the configuration. And you can also easily adapt the Terraform scripts for your own application and services to try them in distributed cloud today. So follow the links in the articles and resources below and give it a try.